Today we'll look at how to create seamless patterns in mid-journey. These patterns are great for many projects, whether it's fabric and wallpaper or print-on-demand products. So I'm here on the mid-journey website. I'm gonna go to the create tab and I'll type in a prompt here. Let's try vintage oranges on a vine. So I'll type that. Now the key part to make our pattern seamless. I'm going to type dash dash tile and then I'll hit enter. And that tile parameter will make our pattern repeatable. So it'll take a few seconds to generate here. The result is coming in. And now we have our result here. I think these look pretty good, but there's an important step you should always go through when generating mid-journey artwork. And that's verifying the image. And that's making sure the image doesn't have any errors in it. So I actually like this bottom right design here, but I see something I don't like. I don't like the way that stem is connecting into the orange there. It's not actually realistic. So I'm gonna click on the design. It opens it in a new window. Now I'm gonna click the button down here that says editor. So I'll click this. Now this tool has lots of options, but the main one I wanna show you is the ability to paint out something. So by default, I have the brush here and it's set to the erase mode. I'm gonna brush out this part here. Just erase the parts that you want to fix and give it a little extra room to generate in. I think that's the main thing I want to fix. Now I'm gonna click submit and it will regenerate just that part of my image. So I'll go back to my create tab and you can see it fixing that area. And now I'm much more happy with these results. I kind of like this one on the top right the best. Now let's verify that it's actually seamless. And they usually are seamless, but you definitely want to make sure before you use it in any type of product. So first I'll click on this image. Let's upscale it. I'll go back here. You can see the upscaling processing. Now the upscaling's finished. I'll click on it. I'll right click and I'll save it to my computer. I'll just call it orange. Now you can verify in graphics programs like Affinity Designer or Photoshop. If you don't have those programs, you can use this free website called Pattern Checker. So I'll click Upload Images. Let's add my orange here. I'll click Open. Now you can look at the pattern and see that it's seamless. Make the size big just so you can take a good look at it. Let's go back to our image here. I can see the edges here. Let's pay close attention on our design there. It would be over here. And I think it looks pretty good. I'm not seeing any mistakes or errors. And that's the main thing it takes to generate a seamless pattern, the dash dash tile option. Now remember if you want, you can change the aspect ratio by using these controls here. So I'll click this. And maybe I want it to be a taller image. So I'll drag this over here like that. And I'll close it. So now let's try vintage strawberries on a vine. And I'll remember to add dash dash tile, enter. And it begins to process. You can see it's the taller format now. And here we have our results. Now, if you need a boost of inspiration, check out the explore tab over here. You can see many of the popular designs, but you can also search up top for things. I'll search for pattern and you can get lots of ideas. If you want something more colorful, type in colorful. Scroll through. Of course, the only limit is your imagination here. Maybe I want animal patterns. Different animals. And if you click on any of these designs, you can see the prompt they use. And even if they're not tileable, you can add on the tile tag to make it seamless. So I can press this button here. It adds in the description there. I'll type dash dash tile at the end, hit enter. Go back to my create tab. And now I have my seamless animal patterns. If there's any mid-journey topic you'd like to see covered, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.